Hello, everybody. It is time for a Lamley Showcase. What are you looking at? Well, you're looking at the latest release of the Hot Wheels Mazda RX-7. It is in a blue color with a very Mazda-like vintage livery. Even the uh, Mazda right there on the hood. And this is just out in the 2017 Hot Wheels P-Case. And we're going to take a look at this RX-7 along with its previous versions. And most importantly, its then and now compatriot, the brand new FD RX-7, the 1995 RX-7. But first, let's take a look at this. You can hear this rattle. That's my jammer case full of RX-7s. This model has been out a few times. I'm going to move it off to the side. And we're going to have a look at what has been out before. Starting with this one. This is the first release of the Mazda RX-7 from a few years ago. A couple of things to look at. Number one, it's black. Number two, it has the MC5 wheels, which look very cool. Take a look at that gold logo on the side. It says JDM Legends if it doesn't come out clearly. And that was one of the liveries obviously was used on the first release of the rx7 you can see the japanese nostalgic car there on the b pillar as well but that jdm legends that's a group that's here in salt lake so i'm name dropping and one of the cool things that jdm legends do they restore and uh and modify classic japanese cars is they created this actual rx7 for hot wheels after they did this they've still got it so if you google jdm legends rx7 you're bound to see this car now look at the very front very front of the grill there is no logo this came in two variations first with no logo second with the ngk logo there on the front notice the difference none and well when it comes back around none and one there you go see that so there is the variation, two versions in black. It also was recolored in blue. You have to look real closely to see that NGK logo on the front, but it is there and it is in black. Some people found this one with 10 spoke wheels. It was tr crazy, crazy rare. So there are two colors, but there was actually a third, and this may be the hardest RX-7 to find so far. That's not a rare wheel variation, of course, and it is this one from the, I think it was the Super Speeders Mystery Bag line that was released at Kroger stores in the U.S. only. I found this one at Smith's here in the, uh, here in Utah, and I know it, Kroger being like Smith's, Ralph's in California, obviously Kroger stores elsewhere, City Market, but that is the, one of the hardest to find. Same livery as the, as the black and the blue versions only this time in white. This still is my favorite of the RX-7 releases because nothing like a white Japanese car. Next, after it was released that year, it debuted, or it came back as a treasure hunt. And I think that logo, look for the treasure hunt logo. You can see it there. Right below that B pillar, you see that Japanese nostalgic car logo again. This one in silver. Some logos on the bottom including Junamai's name. I'm trying to look at the other ones. There's quite a few there, but that was a treasure hunt. And then came a plethora of variations in red the following year. Now take a look at this one because there's a couple things that you need to know. Obviously it's that maroon color. It was recolored later. Um, see if you can see the difference. I'm going to move this one off. Just take a look. At the wheels, take a look at the body, take a look at the interior. Now have a gander at this one. Notice the difference? I'll let it rotate a couple different times. You guys figure out what it is. Might be hard to tell in this video, especially even when I put the two together. Take a look at the wheels. This one sports MC5 wheels. That one sports OH5 wheels. They're the see-through wheels. See that? So that was a rare variation if you take a look. Now I'm going to show another one. 
taking that one off. See if you can figure out what the difference is with that one. So I'm going back to the original as that one rotates. Also kind of hard to tell, but look at the interior. This one has a roll cage. Kind of hard there, but it's there in that A pillar. This one does not. So those are three variations. There was the OH5, there was the MC5, there was with or without roll cage, there was even both with or the roll cage without. It got confusing. Here is the recolor in yellow. And just recently, I think this is technically a recolor, um, they, it has been released with that same deco in silver in multi-packs. You can find it in three packs and in nine packs or ten packs, depending on where you are. So if you want to be the completest, you got to have all of those colors. I even got lucky and found this one, which didn't have a side tampo. So you can take a look at that one. When I show the next to last release behind that blue one I just showed you, there was the standard release. Again, very Mazda-like colors with the deco, the racing deco. And then, just like it's been a treasure hunt, it has also been a Kmart exclusive right there. In that really cool kind of, I don't know, what color was that? Would you call that aqua blue? Shutting off my little case here, my little Mazda case, because that is all the RX-7s. Leading up, of course, to the then and now RX-7 in blue. I think we're also going to see it in red to match the Kmart exclusive of the FD RX-7. So let's get to it right now. There it is. Brand new RX-7. This is a model that collectors have wanted for a very, very long time. Hot Wheels had, what was it called, the 24-7 or something like that, which was a generic version, unlicensed version. It was very much like the RX-7, but it has been a long time in the making to finally have an FD RX-7 in the Hot Wheels lineup, and it is finally here. This one's great. You can see the rear tampo, fully detailed. Nothing on the side, doesn't need anything on the side. And then, of course, the front deco as well with the Mazda logo there on the front. This car is awesome. Look at the way it sits. Look at how, I mean, it's a nice, it's a good sized casting. It's not too big, but it's not too small either. Tan interior, J5 wheels I really like. Some people don't. I'm all for it. But there it is. That is the brand new Mazda RX-7. Since I opened that case, look at the spoiler there, the detail on the spoiler. Since I opened this case a couple of days ago, I have kind of been carrying this one around. <laughs> I've kind of enjoyed it. There you go. There's both the models from the Then and Now series. We'll be seeing more later. All right, guys. This is in the P case coming very soon. Hope you enjoyed the showcase. More to come. Bye.